I'm getting this money, no matter the weather Stacking this cheese, I'm getting this cheddar Your bitch love me, I'm getting her wetter She wanna love me, but I won't let her You know I keep it a stack You know I'm getting them racks You know I'm popping tags No, we getting big racks, yeah, yeah It a stack. All right, man. Back on another episode of Keeping It a Stack. Today, I got a special guest with me. Introduce yourself. Where am I looking? Here? Okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> I'm Kiana or Puffy Mac. And yeah. You said it's Kiana? Yeah. Kiana you know I say Kiana? Like, I thought it was Kiana. That's stuff. actually what it's, it is, though. It's technically Kiana, but I don't like that. It's weird. Kiana? Like, I don't like that. I have a cousin. Uh, Thank you. I'd it's rather Kiana? die. Kiana's, I have bad experiences with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, tell us a little bit about yourself before we start. Uh, I hate this question. Um, I'm a girl. I you identify <laughs> as a woman? I identify as a woman. Okay, okay. Um, I do YouTube, so, yeah. Are you consistent that. with it? No, I'm not consistent, really. We do YouTube. Oh, you can't even see her, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Destiny's Child, Sad Shorties. Destiny's Child, Sad Shorties, okay. Mm, sad Shorties. All right, so, um. Yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I just graduated. Graduated? So Congratulations. Yeah. Where'd you graduate from? Uh, York. York. Piece of shit school, yeah. Where'd you graduate? Human rights. Wow, after all the strikes, yeah. it was worth it. Mm, yeah. I, I only had one, though. I was only there for one. One strike, one yeah. strike. Okay, shout out York. So that's just a little yeah. bit about yourself. Mm-hmm. And you're most known for is like your YouTube. I guess, shorties, I guess so, yeah. I guess. Okay. I, ho- I would hope, yeah. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. So um, today's topic is spirituality and um, energy. So yeah, yeah. let's get into it, right? How do you feel about the overall topic? It's good. You did good. I, I told did you good. you did good. Okay, I didn't know what okay. you were going to come with, but you did good. You thought I was going to come with some like, stupidness, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not. Like, every podcast is relationships, and you know, like, that's... Yeah, it's not everyday relationships, not everyday. right? Like, I don't want to talk about they that. They need to I don't care for see that. where the problem stems from, right? Exactly. How big are you on energy? I would say I'm pretty big on energy. I, not so much on, like, a individual basis, though, you know? Just overall, like, I, I, you know, like, everything is energy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you know? For me, it's like, you know, going into a room... Like, mm-hmm. I feel a certain vibe. There's a certain energy there. Driving in your car, down the street, certain areas, you know, like, you feel Facts, something. For sure, for there's sure. even some days you wake up and you're activated. Like, you know, you feel good for the whole day. And then there's some days where you don't really mm-hmm. feel well. And I feel like it also has, an, uh, like, people's energy around you, where you are, mm-hmm. all has an effect. So, yeah, like, does. I feel like it's energy big. is very big. Super you know? important. It is. Um, do you feel like... You can feel when someone's energy is good or bad for you type thing, mm-hmm. like an individual's energy. Yes and no. Like, I feel, I don't know. I don't really, like, I don't know if I, I never considered it energy. Like, you know when you, like, you talk to people and then you kind of, like, get a certain vibe from them? Yeah. But I would just, like, assume, like, I just don't like this trait about them, like, from what I can see, you know? I never labeled it so much as, like, okay, I feel like I don't like your energy so much. Okay, yeah, so would yeah. you say there's a difference between, like, energy and vibe? No, I feel like those are, like, pretty much the same thing. They're pretty much the a same. Vi- yeah, like, you know, a vibe is, I would just consider it energy. Like, that's what I'm kind of, like, feeding off of you, you know? That's what you're getting, yeah. Do you feel like you can read if somebody has good or bad energy? Like, yeah. Do you feel that? Especially after, like, uh, just talking to you, like, you know? Yeah. I feel... If, depending how you mm-hmm. how you make me feel like you know there's sometimes i might feel a little nervy like okay yo this person's mm-hmm. completely nuts like you know i'm not really, really? fucking with their vibe uh, you know but i'm not gonna act like it in mm-hmm. person i'm gonna keep myself composed and i'm gonna just be like you know continue the conversation but after that like going home thinking to myself like okay this person is not not mm-hmm. good to be around or like you know there's certain guys especially in the gta like you know there's certain guys that'll come around in certain places and stuff and you look at them You'll talk to them and you'll be like, yeah, this guy is, he lost it. I'm not going to be around him mm-hmm. too much. Or this girl is kind of giving me a weird vibe. So, you know, I'll leave mm-hmm. these areas. So, like, for me and people, like, I'm very big on that type of energy. Like, you know, my vibe with you right now, I feel like you're Wait. okay. <laughs> you're you okay. Like, that? you know, you seem cool. So, uh-huh. I don't, like, I, I can fuck with it. But mm-hmm. then 
if you were realistically if you're on the, if i was on this podcast with somebody else yeah and i didn't really ca- get their vibe too much and stuff i'd just stop like the way i always looked at it was like okay i'm not really comfortable around this person maybe because you know they're shy or i'm awkward or this or that you know i wasn't yeah. like oh it's their energy but i guess it kind of is that no nah, you could tell like too, yo you know? shy and awkward is kind of different it's like, different you know? yeah i'm kind of shy kinda awkward that, same for sure but you don't feel like that could throw off the energy you know but uh, then i don't could. view it as their energy because i feel bad like you're just shy yeah, i'm not gonna like be like trait. your energy's super fucked like you know you're just shy yeah, like, like, i'm not gonna just that's say a trait that. still like you know what i mean so that's why i don't label it like i'm not too quick to say that i feel like once i get to know people though i could definitely more so be like okay like i could read your energy but now. are you one of those people that give everyone off rip like the benefit of the doubt mm-hmm. i think so yeah really i would say that so do you feel like you give people the benefit of the doubt off rip like mm-hmm. you like you don't really yeah i feel like know. honestly now more so i don't i feel like if i kind of if you're kind of off or i peep something then i'm just like mm, no you know yeah. i'll just kind of i won't do that but definitely before i would have like for me personally i don't buy in right away like you know like i'm i have my thoughts i for you sure. know not not that I'm paranoid or anything, but, like, I am. I'm going to look at you. <laughs> of I course, like, DM. this day and age, you can't be nice to anyone. Or if someone's too nice to you, you have to look mm-hmm. at them a little, like, fam, why are you being so nice? Like, what do you want? Like, you know, mm. I even get messages, like, from people, like, you know, they're not my bro or anything. And then they'll randomly be like, yo, broski or fam, like, fam, we don't we don't talk like that. Why are you That's calling me that? Why are you saying this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, why are you talking to me like that? Why are you approaching me in that way? They usually want something, right? Yeah. So then... I'm just more like, what I say, like I'm conditioned to believe that they just want something. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah. I yeah. feel like my whole thing is like, yeah, you can peep that and then not, you know, really like engage in that relation or that conversation. But I'm still giving people the benefit of the doubt. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like the two can coexist. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean I'm now going to engage in you, but I'm not going to be like, yeah, you're a weirdo. Mm. You know, like. I'm sure you're a good person somewhere. I just don't need to explore that. That's yeah. It. So, like, uh, what's it called? Like, if a guy were to approach you, trying to bring you on a date, how do you say yes? Or, like, what makes you say yes or no? Mm, like, in person? In I'm person. Just... Like, in person, yeah. Or, like, oh, online. Like, a lot of people do online either way. Like, you know? Uh, I feel like if, one, they're attractive you know obviously um (laughs) what they're wearing their shoes that's big i'm just gonna look at that so the physical aspect if it's like you know aligning with what i want then okay and then also too if they seem respectful like i don't you know some guys are scary the way they approach women like a lot of men are terrifying yeah i feel like you're scared i feel like no i just i'll just be like i'm gay i just say that like i like girls (laughs) seriously like that's what i was just saying yeah and that's in person like i'll just be like i like girls what are you gonna say to that you know like like even if you do something like that's great i don't like you you know like i like girls so that's it that's the end of the conversation i feel like most men will be like okay i respect that and then they keep moving not if he's persistent honestly i feel like oh that's tricky because probably online but maybe not like i would say online just because i could i i could already i could lurk you know like i could lurk like who do you know what do you what you know if you have twitter for example i could kind of see like what are you talking about or like you know what do you dress oh, so you if actually I just like, see you, yeah I'll look at all I'll of lurk. that i'm okay. not gonna just be like yeah oh there's a you no, know reply I, like that's i, I wanted to know because it's like you know we 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 all talk about this we're talking about energy mm-hmm. right so like and, and vibes like you kind of read a lot from, from a person like from their first approach to you how they approach you or yeah. like even online like you know or you could kind of see what they really want or what they're heading towards where their mind i feel at. like even asking you girls like if a man approaches you in person like how do you guys react to that are you open to it like most of the time i feel like i'm kind of like mm, like i'm just off the bat just i don't really want that like it's weird to me 
All right, so, scary. Um, like men are terrifying to me. Like I, they scare. I feel me like so women are terrifying. So men's terrifying me. Like honestly, like, both both creatures are, are insane. I'm not gonna lie, but I we're not gonna it, go though. on that. It's it's yeah, energy. It's dude. energy. You know, nah, we're not even gonna get crazy. into that. Because nah. <laughs> if we get into that debate, we're here for like a good 24 hours. So I could keep going. Um, no cap, I could keep going. Do you do you feel like as humans we ignore like bad vibes a lot or like bad energy around us? And, like, that we can't really leave. Like, it's hard to leave bad energy alone. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I yeah. think that, yeah. I've definitely had friendships or, like, I guess even relations relations with people where, like, you know, I, because you love them, even though you feel like, okay, I feel like your energy's off or you, there is something off about you, you kind of just put it aside because, like, you're either attached or you do love them, you do care for them, so you kind of throw that yeah. aside. I had some people like, yo, I knew their vibes were bad and stuff, but I still stuck through it. Mm-hmm. And then I literally got fucked but over in the end, like, like you yeah. know. Literally. And then at the same time, I'm still trying to be towards this person or this place. And it's giving me that bad, bad energy same ways. But it's like, what holds us? What makes us keep on repeating and keep on going into that trap? I'm going to say trap. <laughs> like uh, in relationships? Like in just here? in general, like, you know. Mm-hmm. Like friendship, relationship. Yeah, bro, I've been reading about that so much. So, what is yours? Um, anxious. Anxious. Attachment. attachment. Can you explain? Yeah. And then that's horrible. That's the worst one. There's four attachment styles. It's fearful, avoidant, um, just avoidant completely. Anxious, avoidant. Yeah, those are crazy. Like they're so real. Like I feel like you guys should all. Can you explain it for us? Yeah. So the first one, I would say anxious, anxious attachment style is like you're very like you're literally anxious. So you're like, I don't you want to hold on. Yeah. OK, so we're just going to say hold, hold on, on for like, like so your reaction to everything. Like, say, say your partner is just kind of like not feeling good. A lot of part, like for me, for example, if I see my partner and they're kind of being quiet, I'll be quiet, too. I'm like, yeah. hey, fuck you. I'll just both, I'll be quiet, too. And anxious. That's like I'm fearful of avoiding it. So I'm a mixture of the anxious and avoiding it. But I'll get anxious that you aren't feeling me. So I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to not feel you first. And I'm going to oh, leave. Oh, I know what you mean. That's my that one, anxious so. is like, are you okay? I love you so much. I'll always love you. You need to know how much I love you. Like, you know, yeah. they're super anxious. Then there's secure. That's like you were raised. You, you're like, you know, you ha- you're secure. You don't, you know yourself. Like, if they don't want me, that's okay. I still love myself. You know, there's yeah, no, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to cut first. You're just secure. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. So fearful, anxious, secure. Isn't there? Yeah, secure is you know how to control your emotions. Like you know how to regulate them. You know how to understand others. Okay. Yeah, regulate. Um, it's just very healthy. That's like the goal for all of us. So all of us, we should we want to be like leveled, so secure, and like learn our thing. Okay. Secure is the goal. No, that is, that's 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 mm-hmm. good because like yo. Have you ever wondered, like, yo, you're supposed to leave this person alone or this place, like, you know where you're going, but you can't leave it, like, you know? Like, for some people, it's the hood. Exactly. Some man's it's the hood. They can't leave the hood alone, but they keep going there, you know? It, you, so many bad things have come out of it, but you can't leave that attachment. Exactly, because you're attached. It's a curse. I think it's honestly a curse. Do they want to? You want to leave it because sometimes you want to, you know, you're cutting, but something pulls you back. It's just like a, it's just like a toxic, but a toxic like there's, girlfriend. There's part you know? of you that doesn't, because even with the toxic girlfriend, you want to, but there's a part of you that doesn't eat too. Like there's still a yeah. part of you that doesn't want to, you know? Yeah, it's like you love it, but you. Yeah, you're trying to give, you're trying to give the benefit of the doubt, you know? I was like literally having this conversation. I feel like, were you gonna say something? No, okay. Um, I was gonna say I don't know so much with environment, but. Actually, I feel like this would play into environment, too. Like, I feel like when you know you're fucking with somebody you shouldn't be, the energy's off. Like, the universe won't even grant you with any other blessing until you actually cut that off. Like, you'll feel it. Like, you're literally stagnant. Like, you're stuck. Like, you're not going to... If you stay in the hood, you're not going to get the blessing, like, career-wise, because you don't want to leave here. So, the universe is not going to grant you that because you're not ready. If you're fucking with this toxic ex for two years, you cannot let go of them. And you're like, yo, I don't know why somebody new just can't come into my life. Or they do, and you completely just, you know... Yeah. ignore it or you fuck it up you know you keep going back to this person it's because like you know you're not ready so you're gonna stay stuck like energy is extremely strong you have to learn how to cut that yeah that's but. what i mean 